Dear friends, this Sunday is uh, the last Sunday of the church year. It's called Christ the King Sunday. We begin Advent now in just a couple of weeks. On this last Sunday, we have this uh, parable, the story of Jesus, where he describes what will happen when he returns in all his glory. There is a kind of sorting or separating where he separates the goats and the sheep, and uh, the d discernment or the judgment seems to be based on whether we have offered water, shelter, visitation, help to those who are least and lost. He says, when you have given water to one of the least of these, you have done it to me. In that scene of separation of sheep and goats, there is this image of judgment uh, that seems so final and perhaps even threatening. But I want to take a look at this from another perspective. And that after this story, this parable, the next thing that happens is that Jesus then makes his way to the cross and he spreads his arms wide open to show God's love for all people. In the old times, uh, when uh, of shepherding. It would happen that a shepherd would gather the sheep and the goats of his flock together and he would separate them. The sheep would be in a pen, the goats would be outside. It was a way of uh, being a husband of a shepherd for all of the sheep. It wasn't so much that some were accepted and others rejected, but a way of uh, taking care of things. When Jesus goes to the cross, Jesus dies for all the sheep and all the goats. He dies for us all. Now, perhaps what this story is a reminder of is that if we try to figure out what we need to do in order to get into heaven or what we need to do in order to get right with God, uh, we will always fail because in some way we will not have done what God has asked us to do. But perhaps in that moment, then we might recognize our true need for salvation, our true need for the love and mercy of God, our true need for the embrace of God. As we anticipate Advent and the birth of Jesus, we anticipate this child who will be born, who comes to us so that in adulthood, he might spread his arms to show the length and breadth of God's love for us. And when we have been freed in the gospel, then perhaps we are free to return back to this story. The story of judgment, true. The story of separation, true. The story also of discernment, and to be free to ask, okay, Lord, who is it that you're calling me to offer water to, to offer shelter, to offer help? Not to think of my life and of your love only for me, but to think of my life and your love for the world and how you called me to be a participant in that, not out of fear, but out of the embrace and love of God. So I pray God's peace and grace be with you uh, this week and as we look forward to Thanksgiving and uh, the celebration of Christmas, knowing that all of it is held in the wide embrace of the Good Shepherd who gathers both his sheep and the goats and shows his love for all. God's grace and peace be with you. Amen.